One man's dead, two others are in the hospital right now after a police shooting in Baltimore County. It happened in Woodlawn after what police say was an armed robbery. ABC2 News' Dakari Turner is tracking this story and is live at Baltimore County Police Headquarters with the latest tonight. Well, Jamie Kelly, police believe the suspects are tied to several different robberies in that area, including five last weekend. So they were definitely looking to find them. Well, finding them last night led to gunshots. All we heard was bam, 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 bam. Sound like someone's knocking on the windows. It started at this Royal Farms in Woodlawn and ended at this intersection less than a block away. An armed robbery investigation turned when police shot at three men they say were driving straight at them. I do know that one of them was armed because my son saw them in the yard before it even happened. The car came to its final resting place in this yard at the end of the block. Stumbling and bleeding, this woman says one of the men collapsed next to her home. She asked we not show her face, but snapped this picture in the minutes after. One person on the side of the house had the money and they were doing like CPR on him and had like a little oxygen on him. And one of the guys across the street, they were also doing CPR on after they pulled him out the car. Full details of exactly what happened last night are unclear. Footage from one or more body cameras will be part of the investigation, which consists of two parts a use of force investigation and separately exploring possible links to other area armed robberies, including one from earlier. One of those was especially violent where they had gone into a hotel and struck the clerk with a handgun. And that's where this investigation nears its climax. One of the men shot by the two officers died this afternoon and Heather is left explaining it all to her kids. My children were scared to go to bed. They were up till like three o'clock in the morning until their bodies just clunked out. Now, the officers, both of them involved in the shooting, have been placed on administrative leave, and the two suspects that survived the shooting are at area hospitals remaining, or, and they will be charged once they are released. We stopped by the house of the suspect who died, a Rashad Ofer, whose parents declined to comment tonight. We're live now from Baltimore County Police Headquarters. I'm Dakari Turner, ABC2 News.